Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to bring you this very simple but quick, hopefully very helpful video. So oftentimes on my channel, I will do videos that goes in depth on how to really master something, whether it's like toning your hair or cutting your hair. But this video is to really just get your hair looking healthy, shiny, and brighter if you're blonde, which is three easy steps which you can do overnight. I was inspired to do this video because of this time of the year. I feel, especially as a hairdresser, I am the last one to get my hair colored, my nails done. And for as busy as this month is for us stylists, I know that a lot of you guys are busy as well. So I just wanted to bring you some quick tips that can get your hair looking its absolute most fabulous simply overnight. So this is, if you can't get your hair toned, if couldn't make your hair appointment, but you still want your hair to look great for the holidays. And so for the first step, that is to do a glaze on your hair. I've talked about this earlier this year. It's probably one of the most understated and underutilized hair process that you can do on yourself quickly at home. I obviously offer glazes done at the salon. This time of year, they are just so popular because it just adds shine, it prolongs your toner, and it just makes your hair feel like you've been to the salon, like your hair just got all the nutrients it needs and it just really looks its best. So just to explain a little bit what hair glaze is, it's basically a toner that is clear. So meaning it's not going to alter the color of your hair by any means, it's just adding a glaze. So imagine like your nails, like if you paint them with your favorite color, it's what that top coat does to that color. It just intensifies it a little bit, it makes it brighter, and it adds extreme shine. And that's what the glaze is going to do for your hair. So it's very simple to use. I'm actually going to do it on Christmas Eve so that my hair looks shiny and glitzy um, just in time for Christmas. So it's very simple. There's nothing to mix. There is just, and I think the, the bottle's actually bigger now. So you literally just grab a kind of small sections and start applying from root to ends. It's really foolproof because you're not going to notice a spot where you missed or something like that because it's not color. I did a video showing application earlier this year. I will leave a link to that in the description box. So if you do want to see just how I do that on myself but it literally will give your hair that feeling like when you've just colored your hair and the hair's like fortified because you do have that gloss over it. But I've oftentimes done this kind of instead of color, almost just to, at least if my color's not perfect, it's gonna be super shiny. If you are short on time and you can only complete one of these steps, this would definitely be the one that I would go to. And as always, when I work with Isalon, I have a 50% off discount code for all of you guys that I've left in the description box down below. So for my other tips, and this is to do a dusting on yourself. Um, I've talked about this in past videos, and I do the service in the salon. A lot of hairdressers do this, but it's still one of those services that I think um, there's not a lot of information on or people don't talk about it enough because oftentimes when I suggest it to a client they're like, oh, what is a dusting? Basically a dusting is to remove and help heal any split ends that you have kind of on the mid shaft of your hair. So meaning that it's not just your ends that are dry. Oftentimes you do have kind of drier ends if you haven't cut your hair in say two to three months or longer. Um, and it just starts to feel a little bit dry so you know it's time for a haircut. But that's easily fixed with a simple trim. But the bigger issue is when you start to have breakage happen up here. Obviously you're not gonna chop your hair into a pixie unless that's what you want. So what a dusting consists of is grabbing the hair like that and just bending it over the hair like that. And what, I know the background is light so it's hard to see, but any hair that sprouts up, those are either broken or damaged or the end is split. So the best way to kind of heal that end is to chop it. Because what a split end is, is like a solid hair that at the end obviously is split. And if left untreated, it continues to split all the way up until that hair is just completely done. So you want to prevent that from happening. So by chopping off just that little split part, you have a healthy, happy hair once again. So this is something you can do yourself. You don't have to be a master stylist or hair cutter to do this in any way because you're not cutting shape into your hair whatsoever. You're basically just taking off those little dry split ends. 
So if you were gonna do the glaze, I would do the dusting first and then the glaze just to kind of polish everything through. All right, and then for the last tip, this is especially great if you are crunched for time, and that is to shampoo your hair either at night or a few hours before your event or wherever you have to go. So if you have to be up early in the morning, that is why I suggest to wash your hair at night. The reason for that is to give your hair plenty of time for it to naturally air dry. Your hair is going to appear a lot healthier and a lot more tame because you've not blasted it with a ton of heat and a ton of tension when the hair was its most vulnerable. So you eliminate a lot of possibility for breakage because allowing the hair to dry 85 to 90% is really going to ensure that the hair is much stronger at this point. All right, so there's obviously plenty more tips that I can give you, but I really wanted to keep this video simple and to the point and something that you literally could do overnight for say an event or just to look great the next morning. So yeah guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that your hair looks absolutely fabulous for this holiday season. 